a uh, one sentiment that action is needed against uh, unis administration regarding uh, the assault of uh, hindus in bangladesh the iscon uh, members who are being targeted in bangladesh and also demanding the release of uh, chinmay das prabhu so while in us there was a protest that was staged uh, outside the white house by the hindus uh in uk uh, the parliamentarians also raised this matter days after bob, bob blackman also uh, spoke about hindus persecution in bangladesh uh, let's listen in uh, to the uk parliamentarians uh, raking up the issue in the parliament all of the previous government in august of this year bangladesh has seen more than 2000 incidents of violence most of which have been targeted against the minority hindu community Hindus make up less than 10% of the Bangladesh population and my honorable friend will be aware that anti-Hindu violence has been a recurrent event in the country and indeed the Jamaat-e-Islami party was earlier this year banned after riots in which 200 people were killed but whilst Bangladesh no longer has a secular constitution of 1971 and became an Islamic state in 1988 there are nonetheless supposed to be protections for minority religions under articles 28 39 and others of the constitution these appear not to be being enforced and there are reports of police and since the fall of the previous government in august of this year bangladesh has seen more than 2000 incidents of violence most of which have been targeted against the minority hindu community hindus make up less than 10% of the bangladesh population and my honorable friend will be aware that anti hindu violence has been a recurrent event in the country and indeed the jamaat e islami party was earlier this year banned after riots in which 200 people were killed But whilst Bangladesh no longer has the secular constitution of 1971 and became an Islamic state in 1988 there are nonetheless supposed to be protections for minority religions under articles 28 39 and others of the constitution these appear not to be being enforced and there are reports of police and army standing by as more than 20 places of minority hindu and sufi worship were vandalized and their worshipers attacked On Friday this came to a head when extremist groups from the Jamaat-e-Islami party attacked two Hindu temples in Chittagong and conducted a campaign of orchestrated violence against the Hindu population. A leading Hindu monk Chinmoy Krishnadas who is a former leader of the Iskon Krishna consciousness movement has been arrested. Iskon is a worldwide branch of modern Hinduism with its UK headquarters at Bhaktivedanta Manor in Bushy many of whose worshippers live in my own constituency of Brent West and the surrounding areas of northwest London people are concerned that whilst he was engaged in exclusively peaceful protest he has been denied due process charged with sedition and refused bail yet none of the individuals who attacked the temples has been apprehended or charged on saturday the senior bangladeshi journalist muni saha was taken into police custody following an attack on her car by a large mob in dhaka and only released under the provisions of the criminal code the situation is clearly on a knife edge and with such large diaspora populations in the uk and with large hindu communities with strong links to the community in bangladesh i'd ask my honorable friend what more she can do to have discussions with the bangladeshi government to ensure that and with other partners in the region to ensure that tensions are lowered the rule of law put into effect and calm and order restored it's an important subject and it's also raised the arrest of the iskon leader and it's a place of worship i too am very familiar with um near his constituency but mr speaker these are deep and long standing ties um between our two countries and the minister herself is right to point out that even though she's visited bangladesh recently um as my honorable friend the member opposite has said the degree of escalation in the violence is deeply deeply concerning and what we are witnessing now is just uncontrolled violence in many quarters and we are now watching with horror and shock as further violence is spread in bangladesh and all our thoughts in this house are most definitely with the diaspora community here and those who are affected in bangladesh these are deeply disturbing reports the minister herself mentioned the deadly attacks and the violence that took place 
During what is an auspicious period, the Durga Puja Festival in 2021. So given the current instability in Bangladesh and since the departure of the former Prime Minister in August, this is a moment of deep concern. Many governments are condemning the violence and calling for peace and law and order to be restored. So I welcome the comments from the Minister, but I must emphasise that all efforts must be taken now. We have a religious leader who has now been arrested. We need to know effectively what is being done to secure his release, due process in particular. But at the same time, can the Minister give details of the Government's engagement with the Government on this particular matter? What discussions have taken place? And have we been robust in pursuing the right to protect life, the prevention of violence and persecution, and importantly, tolerance for religious belief? What efforts has the government may be, um, undertaken to build upon the last government's work to promote freedom of religion and belief in Bangladesh? And can the minister say what discussions are taking place with other international partners to help restore this kind of stability that we desperately need to see in Bangladesh? 